My first advice applies to any Final Cut update. Before you upgrade, locate your current copy of Final Cut, right click, and compress it. Once it's compressed, add the version number to the name. This way, you can go back if you need to. Also, any libraries you open in 10.4.7 will be updated and therefore will no longer be able to be opened in 10.4.6. So if you want to retain that capability, duplicate a library before opening it in 10.4.7. Of course, if your media is stored inside the library, you'll be duplicating the media as well. So in those cases, it may be best to first open the library, change the storage location for the media, to an external location, consolidate, and then duplicate. You can always consolidate the media back into the library after duplicating if you wish. Next, you'll need to be running at least Mojave 10.14.6 in order to use Final Cut Pro 10.4.7. This is because the biggest change in Final Cut is that the processing engine in 10.4.7 has been migrated from OpenGL to Metal. Mojave will run on late 2012 iMacs and Mac Minis and mid-2012 MacBook Airs and MacBook Pros, as well as the Black Cylinder Mac Pros released in 2013. It will even run on a mid-2010 Cheese Grater Mac Pro if it's equipped with a Metal-capable graphics card. So if your Mac is less than six or seven years old, you should be able to upgrade. <laughs>